Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 38 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. The traffic lights at three different road crossings change after every 48 seconds, 72 seconds and 108 seconds respectively. If they change simultaneously at 7 am, at what time will they change simultaneously again? So let us say at 7 am, all these three light signals, they changed together. So they had changed all at a time. Now the first signal will change after every 48 seconds. The second signal will change after every 72 seconds and the third signal would change after every 108 seconds. So we have to find out what is that time after which at which they will all again change together. So they all will change again. So what is the next time? That means what would be the next minimum time when all of these values will again change together. Now let us say that this happens. Let us say that it change next. Let it change next after X hours from 7 a.m. So let us call this time duration as X. So we have to find out the value of this X. So what is this x? This x has to be a multiple of 48 because after every 48 it will change. So after 148 here again one more 48, one more 48, one more 48. So after every 48 seconds it is keeping, it is continuing to change. So that means this x is a multiple of 48. Now this x is also a multiple of 72 and it is also a multiple of 108. So basically x is a so x is a common multiple of 48, 72 and 108. So let us try to find and we want to find out the minimum value of x. So that means the minimum value of common multiple that is least common multiple. So we will calculate LCM of 48, 72 and 108. So 2 2 is a 4, 2 4 is a 8, 2 into 36, 2 into 54. Again 2 12 is a 24. 2 18 is a 36, 2 into 27, 54. 2 6 is a 12, 2 9 is a 18, and this will remain as 27. Now, this would be 3 2 is a 6, 3 3 is a 9, 3 9 is a 27, then 3, this will remain 2, 3 1 is a 3, 3 3 is a 9, then again 3, this would be 2, 1, 1. Now again 2, so this would be 1, 1, 1. Therefore, LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 2. So basically 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16 into 27. So which is equal to 432. So all of these values are in seconds, so this is also in seconds. So now LCM is 432 seconds. That means the value of X is 432 seconds. So after 432 seconds from 7 a.m. They will simultaneously change again. So 432 seconds would be how many minutes? Now 60 seconds makes 1 minute. So 432 seconds would be 1 by 60 into 432 minutes by unitary method. So this would be equal to 7.2 minutes. So that means if they changed together at 7 a.m. Then the next time that they will change together is after 7.2 minutes. So approximately after 7 minutes. That means the next time they will change together at 7, 7 a.m. Now even after that there will be time where again they will change together because there are more common multiples between these three numbers but this is the least common multiple. This is the minimum value at which they will change again because in the question it is asked at what time they will change simultaneously again. Exactly after 7 am this is the time that is 7, 7 am they will change together again. So here with these problems, I hope you are able to understand that how to use or how to apply HCF and LCM to our day-to-day uh, -day problems. Now, one very important thing is 
Now, the basic thing is that you should know how to calculate HCF, how to calculate LCM. But the more important thing is that you should be able to understand the question, what it is trying to say, and then try to find out HCF or LCM. Because many a times what happens is students think that, okay, this question is a part of the chapter on HCF and LCM. So, doesn't matter. Wherever the question has highest, I will find out HCF. Wherever the question has least, I will find out LCM. You should never do like that. Understand the question whether you have to find out common multiple or you have to find out common factor. Depending on that, you will find out LCM or HCF. Also look into the fact whether you have to find out the greatest value of the common multiple or least value of the common multiple. So depending on all that, you will be able to arrive at the right solution. So I hope that these solved examples would have helped you. Try to solve more and more questions to make your concepts clear, to make your understanding clear. If you think that any of the part of this chapter is not clear to you even now, please recap, please revisit, but make your concepts clear because this chapter is very important. We have learned a lot of important things about factors, multiples, common factors, common multiples, prime factorization, HCF and LCM. So I hope this lesson would have helped you. See you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.